Hello, student, and welcome for the lecture series. Uh, today, today's uh, topic of discussion is design of single stage spur gear. I will share my screen. Okay, so while designing the any kind of gear or uh, a gear box, what are the input parameters? The input should be a machine, a motor, an engine, from which we can getting the power. Abhi yaha pe aap log motor le sakte hai, ya fir aap IC engine se connected hai, to you can consider as an engine. Okay, so etc. will be the inputs. And what are the output? Output is nothing but the automobile application, hoisting mechanism, uh, then machine tool applications. So various applications and actions are nothing but the output. So here you can uh, uh, see the basic layout. So in this content, uh, the input shaft, output shaft, then the couplings, a pair of gear that is pinion and gear then bearing cover so these are the uh, these are the uh, objects inside the uh, we are uh, using for assembly so i list list out over the inputs and the basic outputs so inputs prime movers are induction motor ic engine and turbine what the input side what we expecting the input side the input shaft of the gearbox then about the speed it should be high if you consider high speed if speed is high then at that, that time the torque is low okay so high speed and low torque input the diameter of shaft as the torque is less shaft diameter is less what is the what should be the in outside uh, as we know the know that the output shaft the gearbox as there is a output is a low speed because machine is or motor is rotated on 1400 and 1400 rpm and the output should be uh, in few cases is uh, 10 rpm 100 rpm 200 rpm so that in this contest the output is a low speed and that time the torque to be transmitted is a high okay so because of this the diameter of shaft is more now i have made some few assumptions uh, assuming the power transmission from prime mover to the machine are remain constant uh, we are neglecting the frictional losses uh, between the transmission so p is equal to 2 pi nt divided by 60 is equal to constant so nt that is speed and torque is equal to constant so torque is inversely proportional to the speed now we will uh, go through a simple design for that we need a few inputs so we are uh, taking an example find out the module for a spur gear pair using beam strength using beam strength okay then check it for contact stress and following the uh, to, uh, uh, what you can say uh, for checking the contact stress we need of inputs so we can refer following inputs for that uh, p is equal to 10 kN n1 that is the input speed is a 500 rpm then speed ratio is 3.1 also it is called as a transmission ratio the use uh, the use alloy steel material for gear pair for above gear pair find out the dynamic load using the buckingham's formula and check it for wear load so from start to end we uh, go through the uh, static analysis static calculation as well as uh, dynamic load calculation both we have to do over here so basic first step uh, in general first step is uh, write down the given parameters or given input data so first of all just write note it down p is equal to 10 kN watt and one is equal to 500 rpm and i dash okay it is not exact uh, transmission ratio we we can find out that okay 
so just uh, note that the i dash is equal to 3.2 okay so first thing we need to identify the weaker element basic system of the gear tooth profile and they identify the weaker element as there are two element first one is uh, pinion and second one is a gear अब इन दोनों में से वीकर कौन है ये हमें फाइंड आउट करना है जनरली ओपिनियन इज वीकर बट इन फ्यू केसेस इफ मटेरियल आर डिफरेंट ओके इन दैट केस मे बी अ गियर कुड बी अ वीकर वन ओके तो ये हमें फाइंड आउट करना है नाउ मटेरियल इज सेम मटेरियल इज अलॉय स्टील फॉर बोथ फॉर कंट्रोलिंग द एब्रेसिव वेयर एंड टू प्रोवाइड अ कंटीन्यूअस लुब्रिकेशन We select a closed loop lubrication system. ये के important चीज है क्योंकि अगर foreign particle दो दो tooth के between trap हो गया, then there is a abrasive wear happens. Okay, and it will reduce the life of tooth of gear. तो ये avoid करने के लिए then there is a continuous uh, material to material contact of the gear tooth so there continuously heat is generated and that should be reduced by using a all film thickness theek hai to uske liye hame wahan pe lubrication continuous dena bahut important hai okay so for that closed loop system a uh, closed uh, system is used now selecting the tooth profile as we know there are two types of involute uh, tooth profile involute and cycloid cycloid is difficult to manufacture and very rare cases it is used where the accuracy is very important okay where the pressure angle and the interference is and main criteria where we are using cycloid one involute it's are very easy to manufacture and generally we are using so we are here in this application we are selecting the involute tooth profile now pressure angle it's a 20 degree full depth that is a tooth system okay 20 degree full depth involute profile now need to find out the minimum number of teeth on pinion to avoid the interference ab pinion pe hi kyun liya because the pinion is the smallest item or can say smallest gear to uske liye jo chhota hai usko hum design karenge aur uske basis pe hum log pure system design kar sakte hain now to calculate the number of minimum number of tooth z1 is equal to 2 divided by sin square alpha where alpha is a pressure angle that is a 20 degree So what we get Z1 is equal to 17.097. So we are taking the minimum number of tooth on pinion is equal to 17. Now based on the transmission ratio, you can calculate the minimum number of teeth on gear. So that is Z2 by Z1 or N1 divided by N2 is equal to transmission ratio or gear ratio. Or velocity ratio is equal to 3.2. So Z1 की value पता है, तो Z2 की value हम लोग calculate कर सकते हैं. So 3.2 multiplied by 17, what we get? 54.4. It is uh, it is not like that. We are using any half tooth, so we can uh, approximately the, these are the 55 number of teeth. Okay, now If we recalculate the exact or actual transmission ratio, that should be the uh, useful for us. So, <clears throat> find out the modified or changed gear ratio. That is fifty-five divided by seventeen. That is three point two three. Okay. पहले डिजाइन में था three point two दिया है, but actual practices it uh, changes to three point two three. Okay. So now onwards in a design we are considering I is equal to three point two three. Okay, note it there. Hence there is a no common division between Z one and Z two. So there is no required to add any hunting tooth to get uniform wear rate. In fifty five and seventeen there is no any uh, divisible common number. So mm, there is no need to hunt, uh, add a hunting tooth if there is a Uh, 
30, uh, 60, uh, 6, and near, uh, near uh, in below there is 33. So 11 is, is a common divisible number for both. So in that case, we need to add one hunting tooth. Now next step is to select material and find out the weaker element. Now, how we can select the material? As we know that the transmission ratio value of I is lesser than four. And they have mentioned the material grade, which you need to be select is from alloy steel for pinion and gear. Okay, because it will be increase the strength and durability of the material. So referring PSG page number 8.4, just have a glance of that page. Okay, you have to refer uh, this uh, PSG page number, sorry, here 8.4, table number 5. As we have the condition that the transmission ratio is uh, lesser than a 4. So here we need to, um, we, we have to use this row only. Okay, you can choose this combination, this combination, this combination, whichever you want, you can select. Now here in the first one, uh, C45 and uh, C50, it's a common one. And there is no alloy element is added, but in a further combination, the commonly it is added with the alloy element. Okay, so we are choosing from this one. So यहाँ पे हम लोग क्या choose करने वाले हैं कि last one we will choose. Last one we will choose. That is a 40 Ni2 Cr1 Mo28 and 15 Ni2 Cr1 Mo15. So it's a perfect alloy steel and which we can use for our design. Okay. Okay, now we need to calculate the uh, stresses. That is a bending stress and a crushing stress. For that, refer PSG page number 8.4, 8.5, sorry. So in this page, table number 17, you can find out the value. These are the area from which you can find out the exact value. Okay, mm -hmm. again, I will highlight it. So this is the column from which you can find out how we can find out the sigma b value from this column up to the module number six. हम assume कर रहे कि हमारा जो module आने वाला है tooth का वो छः से भी कम आएगा six mm से भी okay if it is greater then you need to change the material then value of sigma c you can find out over here okay अपने पास तो ये दो है so you can choose from this and this only okay so sigma b ka value 3200 kgf per centimeter square for uh, 15 ni 2 cr 1 mo 15 and dusre material ke liye it's a 4000 okay so similarly you can note down these values okay here we i have written the values related to sigma b and sigma c in kg per centimeter square. Now next one, uh, we need to calculate Levis form factor as we have already discussed how we can find out the weaker element. So for that y into sigma b, that will be given, or uh, Levis form factor into the stress will give the exact strength, okay? So Levis form factor, we can refer PSG page number 8.50, y is equal to pi into small y, Okay, how we can calculate the value? Okay, for 20 degree full depth in volute, y is equal to pi into 1.154 minus 0 0.912 divided by Zp. Zp is nothing but uh, number of teeth on pinion. So P stands for pinion, G stands for gear. Okay, so we have to find out. Karna hai. So putting Zp is equal to 17, what we get? Capital Y P 
is equal to 0 0.3152. For similarly, for gear ke liye hum log find out karenge. So gear ke number of tooth kitna hai? 55. So putting that value, what we get? YG is equal to 0 0.4317. ओके okay. यहां से हम लोग सिर्फ लेविस फॉर्म फैक्टर कैलकुलेट कर रहे हैं ओके नाउ अभी हमें देखना है स्ट्रेंथ एज इट इज मेंशन दैट यू नीड टू डिजाइन इट बेस्ड ऑन द बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस ओके तो बेंडिंग स्ट्रेंथ हम लोग फाइंड आउट करेंगे वो स्ट्रेंथ फाइंड आउट के लिए डिजाइंड सिग्मा बी वैल्यू फॉर पिनियन एंड गियर शुड बी नोट डाउन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय लेविस फॉर्म फैक्टर फॉर पिनियन एंड गियर ओके व्हाट वी गेट अब यहां पे आप ऑब्जर्व करो ये हमने पिनियन के लिए निकाला है दैट इज 4000 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द फैक्टर व्हिच इज बी कैलकुलेटेड इज 0.3152 व्हाट डू वी गेट 1260.8 kg पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर एंड हियर फॉर गियर फॉर गियर वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड दैट इज 1381 ओके फ्रॉम दिस व्हाट वी कंक्लूडेड from these two hole, what we concluded the gear is a stronger element and the pinion is a weaker this ka matlab hai hume jo pura design karna hai wo kis pe karna hai based on the pinion design okay so i have noted over here the pinion is a weaker element hence design of gear bars should be done based on the pinion design okay now we need to start a gear design based on pinion. Okay, first step kar rata hai. Pinion bhi gear jasa hai is per gear. To uska pehle hume module calculate karna parega. So in second step, to find out the dimension of the modules. Okay, so first step, hume module do cheeze ke liye calculate karna hai. First bending and second for wear. What you can say contact stresses. ओके okay? तो इसके लिए हमें डिजाइन करना है तो पहले हम लोग बीम स्ट्रेंथ के लिए मॉड्यूल कैलकुलेट करेंगे रेपर पीएचडी पेज नंबर 8.13a टेबल नंबर 8 जस्ट गो टू दैट पेज ये रहा पेज तो यहां से हमें ये वाला इक्वेशन यूज करना है ओके okay? So M should be greater than or equal to 1.26 cube root of MT, designed MT, divided by Y into sigma B, design sigma B, psi M into Z1. Okay, let's go to the design. So here we have to find out find out. We know that Z1 the value, Z1 the value pata hai hame. Okay, chalo, one by one. Hame si अपना exact design torque पता नहीं है और यह कहाँ से design twisting पता नहीं है how we can calculate it referring PHG page number 8.15 there is a one formula where we have seen yesterday that in last lecture we have seen that okay here refer here to calculate the design twisting movement or design load design torque MT design MT is equal to initial design uh, load that is a torque into kdk abhi yahan pe dekhiye yahan pe do uh, conditions hai for initially assume for symmetric scheme and for unsymmetric scheme or overhanging system theek hai to ye dono condition hai aap isme se koi bhi choose kar sakte hain okay ठीक है, but our in value of uh, mt is given into kilowatt, so we need to first upon note down this formula. mt is equal to 97420 kilowatt divided by n, where n is the speed of revolution of pinion in RPM. तो यहाँ पे हमें पहले लिखना है, okay let's see. तो यहाँ पे देखिए, पहले हमने वो लिया uh, then we have added a service factor to the given power. 10 kilowatt power diya hai, uske liye humne service factor liya 1.2. Thik hai? To humara ho gaya design power initial. E power ke baare mein hum bolo. Abhi torque ke baare mein nahi bol rahe. To design power is equal to 12 kilowatt. Now putting this equation, 
I have already mentioned we are using the same this equation. Uh, putting the value of kW के जगह पे आपको बारह लिखना है n की जगह पे 500 rpm. That is the input speed. Then we get exact torque. Then we get the value into torque. Mt is equal to 2338.08 kg of centimeter. ये मिल गया हमें टॉर्क नाउ वी आर यूजिंग दिन कंडीशन अनसेमेट्रिक बिकॉज हमारा जो गियर बॉक्स है उसके बीच में बेरिंग सपोर्ट पे अपना गियर होता है दो इट इज नॉट प्रॉपरली सिमेट्रिक ओके तो सिमेट्रिक रहे या असिमेट्रिक रहे राधा दन दिस इट इज टोटली बीच में वो हैंगिंग होता है उसको एग्जैक्ट कंटिन्यूस सपोर्ट नहीं रहता सो दैट्स वाई वी आर कंसिडरिंग दर्स केस That is unsymmetric and overhanging condition. Okay, so ये condition हम लोग file of use करते हैं. तो M T is equal to design M T is equal to M T plus K D K. So here the value of K D K is equal to one point five. Now we can calculate the design M T. That is three thousand five hundred zero seven point twelve kg of centimeter. तो इससे हमें क्या पता चला हम लोगों ने डिजाइन स्ट्रेस निकाला विच इज इन फॉर्म ऑफ टॉर्क नेक्स्ट वन फाइंड आउट वैल्यू दैट इज सिग्मा साई एम दैट इज नथिंग बट द रेशियो ऑफ बी बाय एम विच कैन बी रेफर्ड थ्रू पी एच जी पेज नंबर एट पॉइंट फोर्टीन लेट सी दैट पेज Okay, you can uh, look at here. Sigma m table number twelve. Sigma m table number twelve. Okay, so here you can see here. There are uh, based on the type of gear. Generally, we can uh, select the ratio. It is not nothing but the ratio of b by m with divided by module. Single statement is given. Generally, psi m is equal to ten. So b by m is equal to ten. We are considering uh, this uh, standard for our design. So b by m is equal to ten. Z p the number of uh, tooth on pinion is seventy. So putting all the values in the equation, what we get? M is equal to zero point three one nine centimeter. Okay, that is nothing but three point one nine mm. Now we need to find out the standard module. Refer PAG page number eight point two, where ah uh, the standard series is available or cho preferred choice series is available. Okay, this one table number one. In preferred series one, two, and three. Okay, refer preferred series number one because it's a general. ठीक है आपको थोड़ा सा अगर high quality का चाहिए then go for choice number two and if it if it is too much high quality then go for choice number three. ठीक है तो हमारा calculation का value आया है three point something. You can select the next one that is four or five. It's depend the safety purpose. अगर आप four लेते हो तो ये नियर बाय आता है अगर फाइव लेते हो सो इट्स कुड बी अ स्ट्रॉगर डिजाइन ओके लेट सी वी हैव टेकन फोर ओके वी हैव चोजन दॉइस नंबर वन सीरीज एंड प्रेफर सीरीज एंड द मॉड्यूल इज इक्वल टू फोर नाउ वी नीड टू चेक दिस मॉड्यूल फॉर कॉन्टेक्स प्रोसेस अभी हमने यहां पे कैलकुलेट तो किया अभी हमें वो चेक करना है ओके okay. हम इसके लिए क्या करेंगे पीएजी पेज नंबर एट पॉइंट थर्टीन वी कैन डायरेक्टली गो फॉर चेकिंग ओके बेंडिंग में इसको चेक नहीं करेंगे हम डायरेक्टली उसको सिग्मा uh, सी के लिए चेक करेंगे यू कैन रेफर दिस इक्वेशन इक्वेशन नंबर वन पॉइंट फोर सिग्मा सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवेंटी फोर आई प्लस माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय ए स्कोर ऑफ आई प्लस माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय आई बी E into bracket sigma uh, design twisting torque. Now how we can use the plus minus values? 
uh, the plus for external gears and minus for internal gears as we are designing external gears we are using plus sign so putting all the values uh, oh here uh, the value of a is unknown center distance referring page page number 8.22 where the empirical relations are given a is equal to m into z1 plus z2 divided by 2 so putting value of m z1 z2 what do we get the center distance a is equal to 144 mm which is nothing but 14.4 centimeter okay now calculating the uh, value of psi m based on the value of b and m b b ka value to pata nahi but m ka value pata hai aur iska ratio bhi pata hai theek hai to abhi yahan se hum log calculate kar sakte hai b ka value that is the width b is equal to 40 mm okay now we have approximately all the values of calculated only value of e is remaining now value of e is nothing but angst modulus and which we can find out from phg page number 8.14 table number 9 let's have a glance this is the table okay here based on the material you can find out the value now here basically pinion steel ka hai to ie ki value hai 2.15 okay and the wheel that is nothing but a gear it is also made up of steel so dono ka common value hai 2.15 uh, into 10 dash to 6 kg f cm square okay we are selecting the equivalent one that is 2.15 into 10 dash to 6 kg f per cm square now putting all the values what we get sigma c is equal to 10800 okay 10800 but design sigma c kitna tha 10250 oh so yaha pe apna module fail ho raha hai kyunki inish uh, jo in, uh, induced the stress hai sigma c ka wo zyada calculation mein aa raha hai aur hamara jo design ka tha wo less aa raha hai so its ka matlab hai ki humne jo module 4 select kiya tha wo fail ho chuka hai then in this in this case what we can do what parameter should be change or modify so i mentioned three parameters which should be um, uh, you you can uh, change and based on that you can find out the design first one increase model second one increase hardness and third one you can change the material so out of out of this uh, more point number one is a uh, more flexible so you can increase the module okay so we are uh, going with the change in uh, as there is a alloy material which is mentioned should be uh, used so to hum log material ko change nahi kar sakte then hardness already uska uh, aapko mentioned hai as per phd to usko bhi change nahi kar sakte to abhi bachcha hum log module ko increase karenge so let's see next paper series se hum log kya model lenge that is m is equal to 5 okay now we need to calculate three para two parameters that uh, center distance and uh, face width to yahan se hum log value center distance a ka value find out kiya that is 18 cm b ka value find out kiya that is a 5 cm again put all the values in equation baki ke same parameters se e ka value same rahega Baki ke parameters same hai. Only changing is as a model changes the center distance and uh, face width gate change. Okay, so ye change honge. Baki ke values same hi rahenge. To abhi hum log kya karenge? Wo sabhi values ko put karenge aur induced sigma c ki value find out karenge. To calculation ke baad hume pata chalta hai ki sigma c ka value aata hai 7728.19 kg per centimeter square so it is very lesser or you can say lesser than the designed sigma c value okay aapka jo actual induced value has material ka wo kam hai apne design value se to iska matlab hai hamara design safe hai and we can go 
further uh, proceed our design based on the module m is equal to 5 mm okay so i request all of you just go through the design go to the ph page phd pages and just memorize this one the remaining design we will discuss in the next lecture okay thank you i request all of you to subscribe this channel so that whenever i can add the um, videos you can directly get notification also you can use these videos in a later on also to understand appropriately so i request all of you to subscribe this okay thank you thank you very much